Former Senator of Alaska Mike Gravel has officially dropped out of the 2020 race and has made his endorsement for who he supports for 2020. Watch. My name is Mike Gravel. I'm proud and honored to endorse Senator Bernie Sanders for the presidency of the United States. Bernie has a program that benefits all Americans, not just the 1%. He will be a great president for all Americans. We have a simple choice. We can have a democratic socialism of Bernie Sanders to benefit all Americans, or we can have Republican socialism, which benefits the 1% and leads us to a constant state of war. The choice is yours. So there you go. Mike Ravel endorses Bernie Sanders for president. This really is not surprising <laughs> at all. If you have followed his campaign, Mike Ravel is a, an incredibly progressive dude. He, uh, I mean, the whole purpose of his, of his campaign, which, by the way, was run by a couple of teenagers, the whole purpose of his campaign really was to get on the debate stage and then be able to call out other candidates on stage who were just mouthpieces for the 1%. And he never actually got to make it on the debate stage for... What appears to be, I mean, political reasons. It, Mike Ravel made the qualifications for the second debate, but CNN wanted to keep the debate to just 20 candidates. So I guess they didn't feel like there was a place for Mike Ravel. Maybe he made the qualifications too late. Uh, whatever their excuse is, he didn't make the debate stage. He ultimately didn't get to do what he wanted to do. But um, here you have, you know, an honest guy in Mike Ravel, a, a genuine person, supporting Bernie Sanders, another genuine person in this race. And uh, you love to see it. Now, here is uh, Bernie's tweet thanking him, saying, Thank you, Senator Gravel. Together we will end forever wars, fight for an economy that works for all of us, and bring millions of people into the political process. Now, um, I want to share a couple of tweets here from uh, Mike Gravel. Now, these tweets were appear to be written by his, uh, his campaign staff, which, again, are teenagers. Now, I don't say that dismissively. I say that to say... That's amazing. I mean, the fact that there are uh, teenagers that are politically engaged to the point that they were running a 2020 campaign is remarkable. So here are a couple of the tweets that Mike Ravel put out with uh, this endorsement. A campaign for an 89-year-old managed by teenagers got several times more donations than five congressmen, two governors, a senator, and the mayor of America's most populous city. And we, and we frequently outpolled them too. I mean, we qualified for the Democratic debates. We did a lot of good. We aired anti-Biden ads in Iowa and nationwide and created and pushed the most detailed radical platform of any candidate. We'll be donating the funds, which we expect to come uh, to $100,000, to Flint and a few other charities once we're done with merch. So here's a guy who, uh, you know, while, the, can while the, the candidacy wasn't necessarily serious, he was able to influence people in the race he was able to influence voters in a way at least online but in a way that actually came out and and showed results i mean as they said there they they were pulling higher than some of the people that made it on stage they raised more money from more individual donors than some of the people that made on st that made it onto, onto the debate stage so this is a candidate where you may say oh okay well it's run by teenagers he never actually wanted to win the nomination but based on his message and his history of fighting for many of the same issues that Bernie has been fighting for, he was able to raise enough attention and raise enough money to be a serious candidate. And I think that doesn't just speak well of, of Mike Ravel. It also speaks well of the younger generation, where you can have a couple teenagers who are incredibly uh, you know, engaged in the political system and be able to actually affect a 2020 election.